Hey all, I'm back for a little bit more Tales of Magiel. Um, show older version. It's kind of annoying how your older version and your newer versions are in different setups. But oh well. So last time we had a little bit of difficult. Um, you know, difficulty entering the uh, area right here. Hopefully that won't be the same, but we'll see. Alright, looks like there's nothing around to kill me at least at this point. Pop. Pop. We got our first Elder Vampire. I believe um, the guy in Durf needs this. So I might do this for this guy and take a chance. It might get one of these guys to complete it though, so... Actually, I shouldn't do that. Uh, I could possibly get so Durf would get and then this guy down here. I'm going to get his down here, but it's probably better at this point that I skip the guy in Durf if I'm going to try um, to get, I guess, the Grimleys. So we'll try and make it to your account and find the riches. Hit the wrong button there. Uh, let's see here, I got Shielding Ruin. It's not as good as this one though, so don't worry about it. Pop, pop. Oh, there's a skeleton mage that I missed. Pop, oops. Ah, this guy's here. Ow. Green ant. Don't really care about the green ant. Pop him. Pop them again. Master Archer. Pinning shot, don't want to get hit by that. Or that. That's just a regular shot, so. Hit him with this. Gotcha. Pop, pop. Ah, nothing yet really sparking me and worth it, worth it for the items, but oh well. So for this episode, I figured I'd give the lay down what I'm planning to do. I'm not going to do the entirety of Dreadfall. My basic plan here is I want to basically go probably to um, Dreadfall 5 and after I get that fire, then uh, we'll turn back and I'll start doing the other dungeons. Love up a little bit. There, Banshee. Hit you with this. Step closer. Pop, pop. Those guys don't see me yet, so let's heal up a little bit. Do this a little bit. Hit you. We'll be there in a moment. Ah, oh, the skeleton came. Guess that makes sense. No skeleton. Pop. 
pop. Oh, there's another one down there. Uh, step back a moment. Power up. And they're all dead. Do 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 do. That looks like a regular vampire. Zap. Zap. I don't really care if he just stands there and takes it. Zap him that way for it. Is it possible I can hit all of them? I guess I can. Oh, yeah, there we go. Zap them all. Why not? Zap them all again. Nice. Zap, zap. Oh, another vampire at long range. Oh, nope, we got this guy first. Um, let's uh do a stun. Ow. He's got friends behind him, so let's start healing up. Get a little closer. Pow. Why not? Oh, there's this guy behind him. Okay, so there's a uh, dreadful free of the way. I suppose there's a lack of commentary at this point, but there isn't really a lot of commentary I can be giving here. Um, this is this is an interesting amulet, but I don't think it's really something that would be beneficial to his character as much. More what being called? All right, all I'm back. Let's see here. What was I looking at? These are all items I was either going to ditch or keep, and, um... Well, looking at them just quickly here, I don't see anything worth, uh, you know, worth keeping, so we're just going to probably ditch all this other stuff. An armor skeleton creates us in number four. And it hits me with 100 damage of cold. Skeleton Mage says hi. Couple of ghouls. Power up. There's a rogue. Uh, that's close enough to be hit by this. So I guess I can talk a little bit about my rogue that I'm playing in the background that you guys know of, I guess. Um, I managed to get that guy all the way through all the first tier dungeons. And... Uh... So apparently it's currently roguelike of the year 2013 poll. Cool. I think I already voted in that. And... Well, yeah. So, I guess there's this thing to show off. Every so often, ASCII Dreams um, is from the guys who do roguelike, um, roguelike radio. One of the guys, he uh, has this thing called ASCII Dreams. He does this roguelike developer's diary. And he has this like little poll that you do. I've already voted in it. I think I voted for uh, um, Doom RL somewhere in here. Doom the roguelike. And, you know, of course, I also voted for Tales of Magiel. So, you can come in here and you can vote for the game. Uff. Okay, for some reason I've got a problem with um, my clicking. So I'm just going to fix this 
first, and then we'll come back. All right, I return. I had to restart the client, hopefully, and hopefully that'll fix it so that I can um, keep going. There's nothing more annoying than uh, not being able to play. Pop, pop, pop. I shouldn't say not being able to play because I probably could still play. Um, I just have to play a different way than, I w than usually do. Uh, a healing infusion with a psychic. That could be useful. What you doing up here? Now you'll die in a moment. Well, they're both up here now. This will probably stun me, so... Whatever, gonna take a stun. Good to know I can stun myself with Starfall. Ah, they keep popping out of the woodwork here. Okay, this guy. You know, I should probably stop hitting Z. So I got this thing. I'll check that out. And this looks diff different. And of course this is in the wrong place. Lightning Ruined a Wizard. This will do lightning doing blah blah blah. This is a kind of cool infusion to Lightning Ruin. I've seen it used so many times. Basically what it does is, um, you basically do some damage and then you have two turns of basic uh, pure immunity, I guess. And it's actually really good for me since it's a mage rune, but... Ah, we we'll, we'll won't borrow that on this character. I'm, I'm trying to get it to go somewhere, right? I'm not really totally experimenting with it. Um, this, this is good because it'll cure mental and physical. Uh, it skills to strength, which isn't too great, but I mean... Curing both mental and physical will be a nice boon to have. So you know what, we're going to actually replace our current one with that one. The healing infusion... I guess that's not really enough to warn it, to be honest. If, if it's a bit more than, say, this, or, you know, if it's, like, a whole lot more than this, I might want to replace one of these ruins, but... Not just yet. Um... Oh, it's there. That's just a regular shoot. Hello, Armor Skeleton. Are you going to hit me with a frozen spear? And you're there. Let's do this to him. Oh, he's down there too. Oh, God. Move away. Uh... Go here, pop, pop, hit him with this in the face, oh they're both right there now, and I'm stunned, so we'll use that up now, get rid of that, uh, let's put on this, let's do this since we're right next to each other, boom, and... Tempted to jump in here, but I do this. Step into that, yes. Oh, I got hit. Um, just kill him instantly, please. Two master arches is never a joke. Doesn't matter what class you're playing, usually. Ghoul pops up. Pop. 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 Looks like we got a vault on this level. Hey look, there's a Trent. Uh, 
and a chest. All right, let's go. there's no one here, so open it. And moving fusion. And we'll go. Basically, want to be at maximum range to hit them all. So do it like that. Looks like there's another one down here. Pop them with this. I got confused, but we can get rid of that now since I've got this. This is an awesome rune. I think we'll probably be keeping this the entire game. Probably. Um, pop you of that. Let's use Highborn Bloom. And apparently I need to have the appropriate energy to be able to use it, so... That's worth noting. Still on, so I should still be able to zap these guys. Okay, so I just need to have the energy to use it, so that's good to know. And I, it's an instant thing, so I should be using it a lot more. First time using that, that skill, right? So you have to learn about it, learn how it works. Master Vampire. Oh, there's another one down here. Pop. Pop. Hello. At least you're stunned. Still stunned. Let's hit him with this. Okay, so here's the vault. Um, we'll leave this vault open just around for now. I sort of like I shouldn't be going into vaults because vaults are dangerous. Okay, where's the way the way out of here? Um, I basically want to get to this, the next level. It's over here. Is that this purple dot? Yep, there it is. So this is a fairly cool ruin. I won't be using it now, but I'll probably use that in future episodes when I'm using um, characters that can benefit from those ruins. Interesting, I killed that instantly. Uh oh. This is someone's vampire. Okay, we're going to just um, move away from the vampire. Not the vampire, the, the golem. Hit something. Hit something. Hit something. Might be coming for me. Yeah, it's coming for me. Yeah, it's a lesser vampire apparently that's coming for me. Okay, so we got this guy, that guy's dead, and this guy. Step here. Power up. Yoink. Yoink. Ah, uh, unknown. Oh, that's really hurting me, so. All right, we got him. Oh, I'm burning to death. That was not fun. At least the vampire's dead. And we got some friends in here. I may be running away from uh, level 5. But first, let's do this. Make them all start taking damage in there. Uh, let's put you here. Shrugged off stun, good. Let's, um... Why not? Stun them all. I'm actually really close, so I can actually hit him with all of some flare. And confusing them all might be viable. Let's start activating this. Hit him all of that. 
And that. No one's stunned anymore, so that's gone. Um, let's put this on now. You're almost dead, so let's just get rid of him. Put that there. I hit them all. You popped out. Hit them all some more. I'm more concerned with these guys up here, so... Kill them. Power you up. Twilight. Pop you. Pop you. That wasn't too, t too bad. Until I stepped in there and found more guys. Um, I figured there might be more guys in there, but, you know. Wasn't sure. Hopefully that stuns them. And... Hit him with this. This. That. Oh, some hit me with cold. Let's use this now. Hey, a level, cool. Pop that, pop that, do this. At least that was a good experience. And we're actually apparently at an, um, uh, level of five, multiple of five. So, um, two class points. Let them, I'm gonna put them in. Um, I'm thinking about picking up this, right? But we'll actually hold off on picking that up now, I think. And I'm not going to bother with the other stuff in this tree. Let's, um... Well, first let's go in here and I'll bump up magic a little bit more. Connick him up a little bit more. Corona, each time when you're supposed to you protect your the show. This is sustained, but it cost me 10 positive energy and negative to use it. Nurse is staying here. This might be a good tree to invest in later, but for now, let's just focus on your stuff up here. Uh, I won't borrow, won't borrow this because I don't think it'll affect the negative or positive energy, and that's really all I'm using that for. This, I'm not really using that enough. It, it could be useful if like, I bump it up and it lasts a bunch of turns, but... I'm not really using enough that, or I, I'm, I'm not finding enough use of it currently just to keep it at, um, as is. Most of the time, I'm able to blast stuff away with this other stuff the sun flare, the sunburst if it's really close. This might be useful, but it's just not yet useful, I don't think. Uh, let's just dump it into Starfall. Because the fact that this does stun, and the fact that I can increase the radius, that's even better. So we can make this thing an awesome area killer. For myself. Let's clear a little five then. And we got ourselves the White Ooze. A brawler. Okay. The only bad thing about this is that um, it's now a little bit hard to target in this area. Starfall. Hello. Pop. Ow. Frozen Spear. Uh, I will say this, Starfall is fun. Hello, Ghoul King. So you're going to make this interesting for me. Did I just hit myself? Not sure if I dare not. Might have. Hello. Let's, let's try and get my, uh... There, darkness energy up a little bit more. Hello, Fire Drake, what you doing over here? There's a thief, apparently. Find lots of non undead for some reason. Don't they know that this is a 
undead infested area. Ah, you're close enough, why not? Pop of this, pop of this, pop of that, do this. Oh, I think there's guys fighting over there. Nope, they're not fighting. They're both fire drop fall. Would be interesting to see a thief and a skeleton fighting in here. Okay, this will cost actually a lot of energy use, but it is worth it for the stun, so. I'll have it for that. Nice! And... Uh, did I click by accident there? Oh, multi hue dragons. Hello, multi hue dragons. Bye bye, multi hue dragons. And, um, that's a dangerous combination to be stepping into, so you know what? We're going to step back. Starfall you, at least. He's stunned, and he's taking a beating. For a moment, I got rid of stun, but I didn't. Kill him. Uh... Well, these guys... I think they're fighting each other. I think someone's playing each other, but I don't know who. Lots of drakes. Oh, that still worked, even though you couldn't see where he's firing. Boink. Oh, well, a couple more guys to go. You know, I'll actually be honest, I'm thinking about going to that vault down there below. Just to clear it out for the sake of clearing it out. It will be hard, I think, but... I bet I can do it. And we found ourselves an Ice Worm! Well, I guess we're gonna see how tough this guy is. Uh, let's start doing this right now. I'll stun it. Blind it. That's close enough for this. 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 That's not too tough. I might be able to take them. There's just a lot of those ice worms at once, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult. That's the, that's the main concern, you know. I don't want to be dying if I don't have to die. I can always come back to it. You know, I should check this. Um, Ice Worm Tooth. So I actually need that for the guy in Lost Hope, apparently. It's so damn tempting having this full, but you know, I just I want to make sure I get one of um, the Rich Stinger, I guess, and show you off that, if I can. Accomplish something showing you off. I'm always for, you know, exploring new stuff myself. So... Okay. Looks like we are done. Okay, so that's this level. I got the face door room of the warrior, don't care about that. That's good for my rogue, not for his character. That requires armor training, which I'm 
don't not have and may not be getting. I don't actually need to get armor trading at all. I can do well with this letter for sure. That's a pretty cool pair of boots though. Alright. Let's go. Down here was it? Was it on level two then? Yeah, it was level two, and I've got all these guys down here, so wish me luck. Power up a little bit. Okay, it definitely saw me. Someone saw me. No, let's try and kill the hatchings first. And if I can kill these guys, we'll see if it um, makes this a little bit easier. The rest didn't actually come. Okay, so there's at least two drakes in that worm. Let's see if I can pull that off again. At least this is a good thing about you know the advanced sight. I don't see anyone popping around. So over here we've got a worm. Down there we've got worm. We got a bunch of drakes all over the place. Um, let's do it. Step forward. Step forward. Doesn't look like this guy's coming yet, so I might be able to kill all these guys and then kill him. This is actually not too bad a vault then. That's okay, that's gonna be very, very blatantly easy to kill these guys. Hello there, worm. Let's go up there and do the top stuff, just in case the worms are connected. Okay, there we go. All right, hi. I think there's actually a couple more drakes up here. Okay, let's do this. Pow. Step forward. Throws me into an ice block, don't care. Put that there. He's actually kind of trying to run away a little bit. The Dragon's Horde. Okay, where's the other badass worm? Okay, well I'm hitting the stuff, so that's good. There it is. So, yeah, it did. It triggered both worms once I, um, you know, approached one of them. And let's just power up a little bit more. Okay, there might be some more worms in these other rooms, but for now, this is looking pretty good. Yep, more worms, but. Put that there. Put that there. Blind. Confuse. Do that. Got them all, pretty much.
more guys in here. That was not a really good placement of that, but whatever, it still does a lot of damage. Let's put that right there. Blind. Well, I can see them all now, which is nice. I'll hit him with this. That. This is mostly Drake's in here, I guess. A few kills there. Boink. This is where it'd be a good place for um, disability here, I guess. They're mostly resistant, I guess, to it, but... You know, they're still taking a little bit of damage from it. Actually, I should see that, really. Um, so, I guess the damage that you get per turn after it's um, invoked, it does, isn't so much great, but it's definitely good for the initial blast. I, I, I would prefer to like it for both, so Starfall's probably still better. Boink. Nice, kill everyone in here. Alright, this has got the worm. Um Step up this way. They're still they're still gonna pop in, right? But it's just the initial thing. I wanna make it like this so I can kill off these guys here first. Um let's do this. Heal up a little bit. Drop you here. I know he's right there, right? So kill that. Run up a little bit. Kill more kills. Damn, there's a ton of these uh, drakes all over the place. Another one pops out. There's the worm. That's the real threat. Let's do this prematurely. That hurt a little bit, but well, well, I'm still good. There goes that guy. Eh, you're not too tough. Do that. Do this. Oh, I killed him. So these worms aren't too tough. Blade of Store Time. There's the air temple weapon. Ah, uh, you know what, we're actually going to jump down, I'll, I'll, I'll do one little quick check of that room um, on like S5 or 4 it was, and we'll let's see if there's anything to scoff at or not. Then we'll just keep going from there. This is good to check to see if it's worth being scared of. I can always run away, right? Hopefully. Um, this other stuff I don't see. Well, 72 life, that's enough, nothing to scoff at, but it requires that I have the armor training for it. Well, I'm not really seeing a whole lot in here to really like, so we'll just keep going. So here's the uh, vault, let's see what's in here. Open. Got a mage. Power up. That's funny, but well, um, Let's do this. Pop them. This looks like a fairly simple vault. Unless there's like worms down here, venom worms. Then it won't be so simple anymore, but.
Um, poison trap. Wasn't something a monster was doing. Let's get out. That trap's kind of annoying, but oh well. There should be another door in here. Oh, it's down here. So we've got two doors in here. I'm really hating that trap now since I popped it out. My keen sight isn't seeing anything too much, except for this guy. Pop, let's do this and... Whoa, we got some guys. Luckily for me, I can use that to see what's up around me. Let's go like this. Skeleton mage, just a skeleton mage around me. Heal up a little bit. I might want to book it in a moment, but we'll try and kill these guys here first. Maybe I'll kill that guy too. Alright, there's at least a couple mages coming around me. Let's, um, let's do this. And this. Get up there. Uh, okay, I'm taking lots of damage, so... I don't want my, my escape route being cut off, so I have to kill these guys down here, I guess. Ow. Not gonna hurt me to do this, I guess, so... Do that, do that. And with that... You're dead. Uh, as a skeleton archer to hit me again, so let's put this on. And we'll heal up and power up again. So it's not too difficult to vault, it's just one that you want to be really careful of. Looks like I have to dig at some of this stuff, and it'll have monsters in it. I think that's what the vault design. Just to give it away, they're gonna have like monsters in here on top of all these guys, but it shouldn't be anything too tough. Pop. Uh, we got Emperor White down there. You're dead. Oh. Okay. Well, that was in our trap, why not? Where is these diggable balls then? Okay, so it looks like all these balls are diggable in this vault. Stone troll, I can take that. Back up. Bye bye, stone troll. I don't have any of this stuff on, why not? Put it on now. You know, I should actually che check to see what my uh, stun resistance is. So, without, um, or with that on, I have almost maximum blind resistance. Stun freeze is at 51%, confusion is at 61 So, I've actually got really good resistances with my thing here, though, it would help to bump it all the way up. I was thinking about keeping this other stuff, you know, for, you know, stun and freeze immunity, but I'm wondering if I really need to now. It would be good to get to 100%. That's, that's worth noting. Uh... 
Uh, I'm not wondering if I still want to use this now. I could put this on any time, I guess, to get that sort of strength boost if I need it, but... Hmm... How to invest my character? Looks like we got a Fairling. And... No one needs that type of, of uh, item, but... There's this guy. Pop you this. Back up. He struggled off confused, but not the blinder to stun. Taking some massive damage from me. Bye bye. Uh, a white is not something to fret about, just kill it. Uh, Lizard Vampire. Don't care. Let's dig this out. Uh, Master Vampire level 41 is sort of threatening, but not too threatening. Let's just with this. Uh, he resists the blind light. Let's do... I won't get confused. Let's him with this. This. I hurt myself, but whatever. It was worth it to kill him. Do this. A regular vampire. Bye bye. And we got two more. You know, I'm thinking about actually going up to level 6. Of Dreadfall. This is like an easy Dreadfall run, to be honest. Uh... Oh, he's still not threatening. Pop up this. He pinned me to the ground, whatever. Uh, let's do this. Let's put a shield. He'll hurt himself. Blind him. There goes his shield. Bye. I'm almost up to level 26, amazingly enough. Uh, I already got better movement fusion, so I won't borrow that one. So that wasn't too tough. I got both the or yeah, both the air volts out of the way. Uh, apparently we had an alchemist that couldn't get to where it needed to go. Lead on, we'll attack to. Good, she made it there. I probably should have followed her, but you know, I didn't really care about it. Improved town, channel staff, I guess. I should have, I guess, should have been doing magic the entire time of this, but whatever, I'll keep getting my staff up. Um, so that's now four or five. I'm now doing 106 damage with my staff. Probably would have been better to have this other stuff, I guess. Oh well. To Dreadfall 6. Alright, we got a nice little welcoming party, but whatever. Let's um, starfall these guys. Damn, they're too, too far away. Still too far away. Oh, let's go like this. Now I'll starfall them. Yeah, I'll have to go with these four. Him of all that. Uh, I'll wait for him to get a little bit closer before I him with that. Let's do this for now. And... Still not in a good position for me to hit him all, so we won't borrow that just yet. Let's, um... Him with this.
Activate you. Power you up. Heal up a little bit. There we go. There goes the Skeleton Warriors and the Ghoul. Uh, let's do this. I killed that guy and blind this guy. Hopefully. Nope, he didn't get blind. Killed you. Okay, everyone's dead. Hello, Rave White. Still not close enough. And with this. Where'd he go? I guess I killed him. Storm Drake. Storm Worm. Interesting. Let's go with that. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I love how he's moving at lightning speed. It's interesting. Okay, I'm like that. It's getting closer and closer. Do this. Uh, let's activate this prematurely. Bunch of hits. I'm taking some damage. That's fine, put this... Activate this for now, and... Boink, boink, boink. Activate you there. Kill him with that. They're getting really close, as you can see. Let's just, uh, do this. That. Power that up. I'm actually stunned, I didn't really notice that. Let's get rid of the stun. Confuse these bastards. Hit him with this. And of course, I gotta worry about this guy over here. It's almost dead. Bye bye. Whoa, what are you doing down here? I'm invisible too. Boink. I leveled up. All right, uh, let's just max this out. That's now maxed out. That's cool. I don't think I'll be buying the other him. So, boink. Um, I suppose I also uh, work on you some more. Once I get that out of the way, I'll just close the celestial star and we'll be done with that tree. Then I can still focus on fire beam over here. Hello. Oh, we got a Wormick up here. Hello. Pop you like that. Like this. Google has, says hello. Yes, yes, we gotta kill you too. Damn, Archer's really hurt. Why not? There's an artwork. Yours out there. Oh boy, there's a couple down. Doink. Right up the place. Uh, I'm definitely clicking. I don't know why, but I think the interface in Steam is just a little bit wonky compared to the original game. But it was recently released, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. It doesn't have to be perfect at, you know, release. For the simple fact that it was released so damn quick. That's the wrong thing to cast there, whatever. That. Uh, you're really close, so let's 
stun you. Hit you with that. Do 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 do. There's the way down. And we got ourselves the Vampire Lord. I really want to be careful of him because he could be potentially dangerous. Uh, let's do this. And we got a stun on him. Blind him. Yeah, he resisted, Danny. No, they all resisted it. Okay, next I... Uh Tell him of this. He's close enough to hit with this. And this, he's dead. Did anyone need a Vampire Lord Fang? Yes, Elvia need a Vampire Lord Fang, so now I've got Elvia complete already. Well, don't care about you. I would, you know, probably if I wasn't trying to show this game off, go with that again, but I want new stuff. Alright, looks like we made it through all of Dreadfall 6. Um, at the rate we're going, actually, maybe I'll continue on. At least until we get to uh, level the last level. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this far. This was just uh, another look into Dreadfall. Did a bunch of the vaults and fairly uh, elegant run so far. I can see why the Nefro was really su is suggested. It is a really powerful build for sure. It's not my, not my to my liking to say, but you know, it's still really very powerful for those who would like this sort of management. Hope you've enjoyed those. So take care.